depending on how his recovery goes. But they may be forced to get a receiver off there. Healthy West Cates. Riders thanking the football gods they have him right now. But Ken Miller, longtime coach, longtime baseball coach, probably thinking like a baseball manager right now. They run out of pitchers <laughs> late in the game. I keep going to look down the bench. Anybody catch the football? It almost looked like Ken Miller might have been checking out his lineup card there to see who might be available and how they might have to shuffle the deck. Washington, wide right. Corey Grant, wide left. Looks for Washington. Out of the shadows into the sunlight and a first down. Despite all of this adversity and all of these injuries, the Riders continue to be so impressive. This is way too easy for Michael Washington. Just jogs a few yards down the field. Easy catch, not much pressure. It just doesn't seem to be enough of a sense of urgency here from the Calgary Stampeders on either side of the football at this time. Green Riders have their way. Maybe it will be the defense that steps up for Calgary at some point. It's going to have to be something. They've had very little spark here. Rod, you alluded earlier to that Edmonton game on Thursday night where there was a lull. The Eskimos had seemed to, to run out of gas early in that game and really lulled for two quarters. And that interception by Bradley Robinson turned the tide, and then it was one big catch by Kamau Peters that seemed to energize the entire team and the entire stadium. A football game can turn in an instant. All it takes is one play. Somebody needs to step up and make that play for Calgary or else it's going to be a long afternoon. The draw play has been the biggest weapon offensively for the Riders today. And giving the ball to Wes Cates is another first down or very close to it. Uh, and for all the changes and all the issues that the Saskatchewan Rough Riders have had with injuries, having to juggle their lineup, it seems, on a weekly basis. The one constant has been Wes Cates, and they've been able to rely on him week in and week out. Such a big part of their 5-0 start. Look at that by the nose of the football. Look at the O-line here. Belton Johnson, right tackle. You see Johnson takes his set and the big slap to throw the defensive end, Justin Phillips, upfield, and then he goes up to the second level. That's textbook. That's how you teach that draw play for an offensive tackle. Nice job for Bolton Johnson. Another guy filling in because of the injury to Glenn January at left tackle. They shuffled Wayne Smith over. Johnson comes in on the right side. Randall's had a lot of protection. Gets it away, but out of bounds was Corey Grant was out of bounds just after he caught it. So they're giving him the catch. And knocked out of bounds. This is very nearly an inner, or an incompletion, the throw to Corey Grant. Watch his left foot almost touching the sidelines. Man just to stay in, though, to secure the football. See Dave that Fox official staring down at his foot. Dave Foxcroft right there to make the call. Second down, though, and six yards to go. Is it Kate's time again? Or will Crandall go to the air? Down the sideline. Bowman! That's Washington, actually, on the far side. And a good play that time by Brandon Browner. He's a tough guy to challenge. Not many challenge him. Rangy DB. Working one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, that short side. Washington gets behind him. Browner doesn't turn for the ball, but the read he makes, he watches the receiver's hands, waits for the receiver to reach for the ball, and then punches up with his hand to knock it out. Jamie Borm. Marcus Howell again at his 15-yard line. the breeze. Howell trying to find the edge. 
But look at how many riders are down with no red jerseys in the area except number 88. 7.25 to go in the third quarter. The backbone of any truck is its frame. That's why the Nissan Titan's frame is fully boxed. Unlike competitor C-frames that are prone to flexing, our boxed frame is the strongest